Hey everybody, so there's one step you need to keep in mind when you're setting up your new laptops and connecting them to the ViewSonic board. The new ViewSonic boards, when they're connected via HDMI to uh, the new computers, actually are 4K displays, so they are a lot of pixels. Um, so the thing that you need to keep in mind is that this display is uh, displaying at 3840 by 2160. That's a lot of pixels. And if you are teaching concurrently and you're streaming this screen over Zoom, that's a lot of pixels that it has to crunch down. Because in most cases, Zoom is actually only streaming your video at about 360p, which is half of a 720p, which is lower than a 1080p. So, um, the uh, screen size, in order to keep it from having to, your computer from having to do a lot of work to crunch it down from uh, this 1080 or 4K down to 1080, down to 720, and then half of that or a quarter of that even, um, to get it to zoom is a lot of pixel crunching on your end. Then it gets to the student's end on the other end and it makes it harder to blow it back up because you, then you get kind of that silly putty look. So the way to fix this is to uh, go to your display settings and then click on your second display, which is the ViewSonic, and change the resolution instead of this 3840 by 2160, set it to 1920 by 1080. That's a 1080 display. And even though it's, it's still big on the board, it doesn't change the way anything looks in the classroom, but it makes it stream better over Zoom. So that's the better way to do that. Once you've done that, make sure you reset your screen uh, arrangement so that it works the way that you want and apply that.